Adam Sage. I'm known on Facebook on my own page as Strange Cosplay, relating to Doctor Strange. This is another insightful video. Being that many people want to follow in the footsteps of the of the sanctum of the ancient one. People for cosplay's sake want to have props and artifacts that have fictional magical symbols on them. Many people would be very tempted to use religious and magical symbols from very serious religions and cultures, present day and historical, which is a bad idea. Because there are people who take those things very, very, very seriously. Alright, so in this video today, I'm going to show you how I create original symbols. And also, for those with, for those who don't have the time or creativity or resourcefulness, how to use some modern things to create non-offensive symbols for books, for clothing, for spell discs relating to the Doctor Strange genre. After a little searching online, this is what I came up with. My first thought is to consider modern religions and nationalities and cultures that are very, very serious about their way, their way of life, who are very, very serious about their way of life, and those who are at war with somebody. Avoid those. Completely avoid them. You can look up samples of their symbols and rating. Avoid it. All right. Then another I settled for is that you don't want to accidentally randomly generate any very negative, dark, or evil symbols. These are things that <sighs> shit happens. So these are things to consider if you're going to be a really serious artist or a cosplayer. Alright, so this is symboldictionary.net. Better safe than sorry, don't use any of them. Don't use any that have any meanings. Okay. Original magic symbol creation. Now, I've already researched online, and there's too much shit to go through to see what not to use to stay out of trouble. I looked at a few languages, considering that you could look up several fancy alphabets fonts, letters, and if you use individual letters that have no individual meaning, then you could use those. However, something you'd want to avoid is using just one language, because if you put down a series of letters, you could accidentally spell something you don't want to spell. So use two or more if you go that route, and randomly mix them up. There's also the longer, tedious option of taking symbols or letters you really like and altering them slightly. If you have time on your hands, if you're really creative, then that's the route you could go. Alright. I don't have a collection of regular markers. These are actually uh, phosphorescent which means they light up under a black light. This is an LED high-powered black light flashlight by GKG. Telescopic lens that changes focus. I use this for special effects on the dark stage for my spell discs and such. Bright, dim, Flashing. 
I got two of these for a very low price. I think it was somewhere around $12, $13. I was very happy with that. It's a good metal design. Glass lenses. I should edit this out for something else because this is off subject. You have to take good care of it because it does have glass lenses. Now this version of the Sharpie is not a permanent marker. If you use it on plastic or metal, it could rub off. These don't. However, if you put it on clothing and you run it through a washing machine, it will wash out. It's something to do if you've got problems with flashlights. Check the ends, wipe them clean. Check the contact surfaces, they might be a little bit tarnished. You can clean them off with a rubber eraser or with some very fine sandpaper. This is master class doodling. This is clear vinyl, which is the kind of material used for Jeep windows. Very flexible. The markers actually stick to it. Whenever I have to remove a mistake I make, I have to use a dull knife. A dull cutting knife or a sharp butter knife to give you a general idea. Okay, so that's what I got out of this one. You can add that effect to them. You can take something like this and let's see. I'm not as young as I used to be, so my hands are just slightly shaky on some days. is a really good idea. To a degree I can pull that off. There's a good example. Now if you see someone here you like, you have my permission to copy them and use them. You could possibly mess up on it a few times, so repeat it several times, and then when you get to what you actually want to put it onto, you you would have had enough practice, and then you can perfect it. All right, another idea. Keep in mind the 